Good morning internet, this is Alex da Sudokus and it is Saturday the 10th of October 2020 and we have another medium New York Times Sudoku for us today so let's dive right in and I am going to do it with no pencil markings and um, let's see how we get on. Fingers crossed I can do it, I just did the hard one without pencil markings so quite pleased with that one actually um i've got two up there because of these twos and that two over there so that doesn't further lock anything uh two got another two over here because of these twos and these twos so it's at the end of the line i've got a pair of twos left and a pair of twos left so let's look at the threes Got a point a pair of threes there because of that three so that locks another three over there because these two threes lock up the row, and that three locks up the um, column. So I didn't even need that point of pair of threes, actually. So, three, three, three. Got a pair of threes there. I don't think I can do anything more with the three. So let's do a four there, because of two fours taking up the column, and this four taking up the row. And let's see. So I've got a pair of fours over there, so another pair of fours down here, and I'm just about to sneeze. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Um, let's see, what about fives? Fives, not much going on. Only got one five, so it's a weak number. I don't know if I ever use weak numbers when I do zero notations, but we'll see. Pardon me. Uh, sixes are here, and um, can't see any more. Oh, got another pair of sixes there, so that must be a six. So this six and that six forms a pointer pair. Looking over here, so I've effectively got two sixes on rows five and six, leaving me with a six over there. So that further leads to a six here because of these two sixes taking up the columns, and this six. does not mark the treasure. Okay, so what about sevens? Sevens, don't think I can do much of the sevens, so eights. Uh, eight locked in here because of this single eight. So that gives me another pair of eights, which is not useful. Got a pair of eights in the corner. Um, okay, so this eight leads to a pointer pair of eights, ruling out those two rows. So I have another pair of eights there, which isn't useful right now, but it may come in handy later. And nines are locked in these two cells, and I suppose I've got a pair of nines there. Oh, okay, that is useful. Since I've got points a pair of nines there, and a nine here, that creates another point a pair of nines, rolling out row seven. So row seven and nine are taken up leaving me these two cells, but I've got a 9 on column 6, so this has to be a 9, and let's see. Okay, I think that's all I can do, so what about these two cells, they are 9s and 5s, so I'm not going to resolve that just yet, but that does give me a triple on this column, so 5 and 9 are taken out, that leaves me with 1, 3 and 4, uh, so I can't resolve that either because I've got three and four in different rows unless there's some sort of like pointed pair. I don't think there is. So one, three and four. So that leaves me five, five, eight, nine and what was it again? One, three, four. One, three, four. So five, seven, eight and nine. Five, seven, eight and nine. So 7s are here, 8s are here, 9s are here, and 5, oh hold on, so there must be a pair of 5s and, no hold on, 5, 8, 9, and 7, 5, 7, 8, and 9, 5, 7, 8, and 9, so I've got a pair of 8s, pair of 9, pair of 5s, and pair of sevens, so no, I can't actually resolve that. So, I uh, got a little bit excited there for a second. I've got a quadruple on this column, so 
I want to have a look. Okay, I know ones have to be up there because ones are down here. <coughs> so I'm missing one, five. Fives are going to be all except this cell. Um, one, five, eight. Eights are down here and nine. Don't think of anything exciting going on with the nines up there. So, okay, so that was a dead end. We've got a triple here I should have looked at first. One can't go there, so that must be one. So ones are also over there. And anything else interesting going on? Let's look at this cage, actually. So these are ones and eights, actually, because eights can't go there. And because of the column scenario, ones can't go there. Or one, ones have to go there. So one and eight. So that leaves me twos and twos and fives. So if these are twos and fives, then that can't be a five anymore. So that resolves the five and the nine. Oh, hang on. So these aren't nines at all, are they? Oh, yes, they are. Yeah. Um, so that nine leads to another pair of nines. I've also got a triple now. So this is seven, seven, eight, and nine. Which I'm not going to be able to do besides saying that can't be an eight. So eights are there. Yeah, I can't do anything with that, actually. Okay, so, got one and eights there. So this triple must be resolved. I should have seen that earlier. So that must be a five, actually, because these are ones, ones and eights. So, um, still can't resolve the one and eight, which is fine. Um, I've got another... Okay, I've got this, yeah, I've got a triple that. I've got a pair of twos and fives, right? Yeah, twos and fives. So that's a triple of one, four, one, four, and six. I've got one and six here, so that must be the four. <coughs> so ones and sixes are left over there. Um, and then no resolutions. So checkerboard pattern here. Checkerboards are usually quite useful. Threes, although I don't think it is in this scenario. So I've got fours there, threes in these two cells, um, seven and one. So no, I don't think I do anything. So let's move on. What about this triple of threes and um, no, it's not three. Um, these are going to be seven, eight, and nine, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got eight and nine down here, so that can't be a seven. So there is some restriction. So eight and nine are left. So what about the seven? Can I do any more with the seven? Seven's in these two cells. No, not much going on with the seven. Um. But I've made a fair bit of progress. I've got another quadruple here. I think I looked at that before, didn't I? But the board has changed a little bit. So it's one, five, one, five, eight, and nine. Five, eight, and nine. No, I can't see any more fives. So I think maybe fives are worth looking at because they were weak before, but they're not so weak now. So yes, so... These two fives locks a pointer pair of fives down there, so there's a five over here. So I think that unlocks another five here, because these are fives and twos, and one and eight over there. So these two fives locks a five up there, fives are up here as well, and fives can be anywhere up there. So <coughs> that's sort of fives. Anything interesting going on in this cage now? So one... Six. Six is up top. But can I eliminate any of them? No. Seven. And eight. No. 
it's not much development on this cage. What about these four cells? So these are one, one, six, one, six, seven, and eight. And I've got one, seven, and eight on this row. So that must be a six, which means that's a six as well, because of these two sixes taken the columns. So sixes are now locked in these four cells. Okay, so what is it again? One, it's now one, seven, and eight. One, seven, and eight. Um, no, I can't do any more with that. Um, so I think maybe it's high time I do another round of mental notations and see if I can do anything else. So actually, what are these now? Ones and <coughs> ones and six. So I can't resolve that. Okay, so ones, twos, two, 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 twos are here. Oh, there we go. That's another two because of that two. And the twos taking up the rows. So that's all the, all the twos actually done. Who would have thought that twos finishes first? So threes are here. And here actually. Because of this three and that three. So that means there's a three over here as well. So that locks a pair of three, threes in these four cells. Okay. <clears throat> and now I've got a four up there. Because of this four and that four. So four are down here and here and here. Okay. So just quickly, can, have I done anything to unlock these cells? Probably not. These are eight and nine. No. Okay. So what about this trip? I've got one, five, and one, five, and nine. No, I've got nothing. Okay, so that was twos. I did no, I did fours in nine. <coughs> Definitely haven't got anything on threes. No, fours, fives. So fives, fives over here, over here, random, and two over there. So sixes <coughs> up there and there. Sevens, sevens. Sevens are here, so there's another seven. So this seven locks a pointer pair of sevens there. So in tandem with that seven and that seven rules out <coughs> all the other cells but this. So that gives me another seven. So sevens are now locked in one, two, and three cages. Um, let's carry on. Um, I've got an 8 here because of that 8 and that 8. So that locks another 8 up here and an 8 down there. So that resolves the 1 and 8. So these 8s locks the 8s down here and down there. So, okay. Uh, that means there's a 1 here because that 1 forces a point to triple. And I've got a 1 there. So, doesn't do anything else. So let's stay with the... Um, Scanning, so 9, that forces a 9 there, a 9 here, 9 there, 9, 9. So I think that's all the 9s. Cool, so what can we do now? I can do another round, or I can look at this cell, which is the only one left on the column, and it's a 5. And if that's a 5, then this must be a 5, because of that 5 and that 5. So it forces another 5 here, which is the only cell left in that cage anyway. And I am now left with a pair of ones and sevens. <clears throat> Can't resolve them just yet, but on this on this row, I've got one number left, and that is a four. So this four surely unlocks another four over here, unlocks another four, and it also in the cage leaves me a six. So if that's a six, and that's a six, and that's all the six is done. And now on the column, I've only got one left, and in the cage, I've got a three left. In this column, I've got one left. And anywhere else with just one number? Yes, I've got a seven in here, and that seven forces a seven here, and a seven there. So now in the cage, I've got a one, that forces a one over here, and a 
8, an 8 over there, 8 over here. So on a column, I'm left with a 5, I think. And these are now 1s and 3s. And that's today's medium New York Times Sudoku, done with no pencil markings. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I shall see you tomorrow. Have a good weekend. Bye.